enjoy the job, you can't ignore it I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornet What is going on people and welcome back to the channel guys So today I have a really special video for y'all We're doing something a little bit different than what we've been doing here with the past few videos So it is hunting season and right now here in Texas it is officially bow season Bow season started September 30th so we're a little bit late to the game But this year I wanted to try something that I have not done before And that is hunting with a bow So instead of getting a compound bow or a recurve bow to start off with Which I might have probably should have just to get the experience I went ahead and decided to go with a crossbow now to make it even more interesting I was like you know what let's just get on Amazon and see which crossbow I can find for the cheapest price but still has you know pretty good reviews and people don't say it sucks and it's also big enough to take down some big game so that's what led me to this one right here let me introduce you to the killer instinct boss 405 now I did find this on Amazon, like I said. Now it was retailing about $379, so after taxes you're looking at about $300, but still $300 for a crossbow that shoots up to 405 feet per second, which is very fast. It is so fast that animal really can't have time to react to that, it's like a snap. So you're shooting very quick, you're shooting very accurate. Now a lot of the reviews I saw said this is a really great bow, the only downfall is, is the scope that they give you, which is a free scope, so if you ever bought any guns or anything that requires a scope and you get it factory you know they're not really necessarily the best but we're gonna see nonetheless so all you get in this box is you get your uh, cranking device to pull your strings back you get your scope you get three arrows uh, you get a, uh, a adjustable stock which I found very interesting you see it right here and it just kind of like an AR-15 adjustable stock and you also get a quiver for your arrows so the adjustable stock is what I'm really interested in but I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, you know, now that, now that I bring that up, let's go ahead and get in that because I've already assembled the bow. So here it is assembled. It is uh, very, very easy to assemble. All it is is three screws. You have two screws right here. I don't know if it'll focus, but you have two screws right here. Yeah, right there. And then you have one right there. So all you gotta do is take this piece and your stock piece put them in, screw them down, and it's that easy. It is super, super easy to put together. I can't stress that enough. When I first ordered it, I thought I had to put the string on and everything. No, you don't. It's two simple pieces, three screws, very, very simple. So, like I was saying, the adjustable stock right here, okay? It, it looks cool, it looks cool. Uh, there's no cushion. That is just ridge and it's hard plastic, so it's no cushion, so go ahead and prepare for that. And uh, this is the only downfall of this, see? A little tap will we'll move it and uh, sometimes you can do it when it pulls back but sometimes it'll actually lock see and then yeah so little taps like that will push it back in which is kind of a downfall so it doesn't really have that good of a locking mechanism on the inside so that sucks but I am gonna say this uh, it is cool it does help especially if you're a bigger or smaller person you can adjust the stock to where the scope is best for you and what feels comfortable so good idea it just uh, they probably should have used a little bit more expensive stuff making it but still really cool if you can make it locked to where you like it that's perfect uh, but still I just thought that was like the only downfall of this so people had a lot of stuff to say about the scope now one thing I found really cool once I put in the uh, hold on one second once I put in the the battery for it I found out you could uh, change it and it has uh, blue and red I don't know if it'll focus so y'all can see it in there it's probably not gonna do it but right now it is blue and yeah it's not gonna show but you can talk between blue and red light and how bright you want it and I thought that was really cool and then you can turn it off yeah okay that's off you have to check because it's sunny out here I really couldn't see but yeah if you're hunting in low light and you know the sun started to go down starting to get a little bit dark and you turn on those lights and get that perfect clear crystal clear uh, side of your buck and take that shot but all in all I so far I think it's a really really nice crossbow you have really nice comfortable grips right here they have uh, finger inlays if it'll focus there you go you see the finger inlays right there same thing goes for the handle really really nice uh, have not shot it yet gonna go do that pretty soon but very very excited yeah I like it a lot so uh, yeah, next thing we're gonna go do is we're gonna take this uh, to my cousin's house and we are gonna sight this bad boy in and just see how bad the scope really is. See if we can make it, you know, do pretty good. But I have a really good feeling about it. I'll see y'all there. So what do I need to be aiming for? Okay, so what you wanna do, 
Hey, let me see your scope one more time. Hey, you may want to put them at 10 for his first shot. Because, uh, who knows how far it's off. Yeah. Who's, who knows how far that well, scope's off. Uh, no. So, so what you're going to do, if you'll look through your scope, mm -hmm. you'll see the main crosshairs. And then if you'll go down, that's 20. The second one. 30, so on. 40, 30, 50. Yeah, that's how you do it. So we're at 20. So you're going to, your that first shot, you're going to do the, notch. Yeah, the first bottom one. Okay. So go ahead and let's just see where it's at. And just aim for that center, center one. And it goes in just like that, right? Yeah, it uh well your your off color will will go down here. Okay, so yeah. okay. That Got keeps it. you lined up on your deal. And does it yeah. does it click? What, hey Ryan, I, I cost uh red a buck, I think, because I one night one night I was helping him get in the stand one yeah, morning. That real nice one. <laughs> yeah, he shot at a real nice one and I and it was dark and I loaded it for him and mm -hmm. I had it turned wrong. Oh no. And he shot and it hit the dirt. No, yeah, was, and then it's a real nice buck. And then right, right in the uh, evening, that's when I shot. So we're gonna need to aim for over there, like that gray section of the circle. Just, just aim for the um, the hunter orange paint that I put the in middle the middle of the circle, okay. the bullseye. Okay, in the center. Yeah. With and your, with your take it, All right, take it off safety. Yep. And just take your time and, and remember to do your twenty. Your, that one down, right in the center. Here we go. Oh! oh. Man. <laughs> All right, yeah, that didn't off. sound good. It's off. <laughs> it it sounded like something broke. <laughs> we probably should have done a team. Oh. Okay. All right, so let's go look at this shot that I just made. <laughs> so all I, all I heard was a ting, and yeah, it, it is stuck in the metal. How? Because I was aiming for right here and it was that high and over. That is insane. That is, that's in there. That is hilarious. So yeah, when you get the Killer Instinct 405, definitely adjust the scope. That is, that is bad. I missed one other day. Kind of legendary. See it back here. It's the right tree. in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> that's with the boat. Oh man, that is that's crazy. Yeah, we'll just leave that as a <laughs> as a landmark. Wow. So all right, so what you need to do? Let's just do a ten yard shot. Okay, yeah, let's just do a ten yeah. yard shot. <laughs> oh, which that's a. Yeah, yeah, 10 is your is your uh, main crosshair. Can you see me right? Yeah. So don't do your 20. Yeah, do, right do, there in the center. Yeah, remember to do your main crosshairs on this one. And do the center. All right. Fire. And shooting. All right, so see, all right. So wow. You, now you didn't shoot at that one, right? No, I did not. Okay, so. We need to. Uh, it hit perfectly on the other one. All right, that's all right. So, you what you do is let's do your. Uh, right is yeah. That is up and down. Hitting like four clicks an inch. Is that what that, that's on scope? Yep. Four clicks is an inch. I don't have my glasses, but it should say on there. Uh, click zero one four. Yeah, so that's, so, that's yeah, going to be clicks is an inch. four clicks an inch. So you'll need to get a little here. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. First, you need to look on there and I want my glasses and see which way is which. So I need over. to come down. I think go over. No, let's do down first since I'm on that. Down yeah. how much? Yeah but, yeah, but which way is down and which way is up? 
Uh, up yeah. is that way, down is this way. Okay, so make sure you go the right way. Yeah. Like. So come down, what is that, six three, inches? Three, three, three. three inches? Yeah, from, yeah. So Let's 12 start. clicks. Yep. Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so come down more. Go ahead and do another three inches. Or six or whatever, you know. Go ahead and go down some more too. Yeah, I just went down. Oh, did you? Okay. So I need to come right. Wait, no left. Left. Yeah. I'll do another twelve. Dead gum chickens want to get right behind the target. <laughs> He means like after you, yeah, after, after you get your hunt, hunt, you, you want, have to you want to have you just something to shoot. Yeah. yeah, they sell them little discharge targets. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like twenty bucks at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you need that after you get done hunting to shoot it in. Okay. Make sure you get a crossbow grade one though. Yeah. It'll shoot right through it. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. All right. Center. All right, we're getting closer. I do, uh, I do, do double. Six inches on both, left and down. Okay. It may just not be um, going as far as it's supposed to. Do you need a screwdriver? There you got it. You ever thought of just making a ramp with this thing? A ramp? Up to your trailer. Oh yeah. Made like that so you can walk up there. <laughs> yep. Okay. You do another six on both? Yes sir, 24 on each one. Alright. So, so we should be there. close. into it. So we're closing in. It almost was in that kill zone where he, man, I'll tell you what, Eric, it's not as fast as what it's saying on there. So do, uh, do like 12 for each one. 12, okay. Wait, how many did you do? I he, just, he did, just did uh, another six inches. It's getting there, but it's real slow. So do, 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 do like 12. Yeah, I'm gonna need a flathead screwdriver then. Hey, can mm -hmm. you
All right, so finally got it on the bullseye after 20 shots, going up and down, left and right with that daggum scope. We finally got it good right there, right where you want it. So yeah, really great crossbow, but definitely take your time working on that scope, making sure it's sighted in at 10, 20, heck, even go back 30, 40 yards, test it out, see what your limits are, but definitely work on that scope before you take this thing hunting. All right, y'all. So it's been about a week, week and a half, and I've been testing out this bow. And I gotta say, this is a really amazing bow. For $300, you really cannot beat the performance of this bow. Uh, I did not have a speed detection system, so I was not able to actually see how fast these arrows were going. But everybody that I read the comments on on Amazon said this was definitely shooting about 405 feet per second, which is extremely fast. Now, all we're putting on it is 100 grain test round uh, tips on it, and we were doing practice with that. And it did very, very good. I think we got up to a max of like 40 45 yards and it was dead on now this is a great 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 crossbow for my first one so let, let it just be known this is my first one so i don't have a huge experience but all in all it is a great great crossbow the weight is good the handling is good it shoots good little to no uh recoil at all uh plus you really gotta enjoy these foam grips that killer instinct put on these things like it is very nice it's very comfortable really really able to enjoy it plus it's right here on the handle as well now one thing i didn't know and i have found out this is really cool is right here on the handle is a compartment so you can store stuff in i guess like tips and broadheads and stuff like that so that was really really cool so all in all a great crossbow uh the weight is a little too much for me i wish it was a little bit uh lighter because if you're holding it and you're standing up like this especially for over like a minute or so just getting prepared for that shot it is a little heavy but still really not that bad uh, and now I'm gonna get to the uh, sore thumb of the entire thing and that is the scope um, At first I thought the scope was gonna hold a zero because it did really good But once I took it from my uncle's house back to my house and shot it again I could tell it was about three to four inches off to the left So it really likes to hang to the left especially after you have your zeroed in and you don't even have to touch it And it seems like it kind of just starts shifting back which is very very weird So just note when you buy this crossbow and this might be different for other people i'm not saying you know it could be for everybody but the scope might be better for y'all but when you buy this cross crossbow just please note that you're probably just buying it for the crossbow itself not the scope even though it does come with it now uh, that is the major sore thumb another thing that i've noticed after shooting a little bit is the stock kind of shifts so you can have it all the way in it'll lock in but if you push too hard see it goes right back in it kind of just drags now when you're out there and you're shooting you know you're really not gonna be pushing that hard but things do happen if you're up in a tree you're up in a stand something get knocked and it can just go well if you put it in the middle it doesn't do that so it only does it if like you're on the very last one it does it or the very first one it'll pull out so if you're in the middle probably about a three I don't know if y'all can see that if it'll focus but yeah, if you put it on a three, you're you're pretty good. So if you leave it in the middle and you like it just like that in the middle, you're good. But if you're on the very end and you have like, you know, a bigger body frame, it's gonna do that. So just be wary of that. Those are the only really things I could really find bad about it. Other than that, just, you know, great crossbow, a little bit too much weight, scope sucks a little bit, stock's not the best, but when it comes to deliverance, it's definitely gonna put that arrow exactly where it needs to be.
right in the middle. So all in all guys, a great crossbow. I really love it for my first one. Definitely gonna play around with it a little bit more. So that is it. If y'all like seeing the review videos like this of other stuff, let me know. I can probably do another bow like this or another crossbow, compound. Whatever you want to see, just let me know in the comments, guys. This is actually pretty fun, so this might be a new thing for me. <laughs> I really do enjoy it. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you got any comments, leave them in the comments below. Guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Y'all keep it real. Peace.